Good morning gorgeous ones and welcome to Rock Painting. Today we are going to create a peacock on a rock and it's sort of done with a little bit of a folky kind of look to it and I am going to make this peacock red and uh, I was thinking about you know the colors of a peacock and we all go to grab out the traditional sort of green and purples and gold and things like blue as well I'm trying to think now peacock colors um, but nobody would grab red because um, have a think about it have you ever seen a red peacock and uh, I'll answer that one for you and of course the answer is no no such thing as a red peacock right uh oh okay I just tried to clean up my uh, Posca pen because it was a little bit dirty and blocked I've been using it a lot this week and as I pressed down on it, it had a big pen vomit onto Bert. So you can see that that happened. So I'm going to grab my brush and I'm just going to paint in the main colors using my brush and not wasting any of that red paint. And just sort of color that around while it's still nice and wet and I can do so. Okay, so that's where else okay and I'm going to take the spare paint I'm not I never waste paint that comes out of a pen vomit I'm going to put that on a rock that I have off to the side sometimes I've just got lots of rocks that have been um, outlined but not colored in so I'm going to use all that red and pop it down on this rock so it doesn't go to waste and this is one of the biggest reasons that I test my pens on Bert my rock and not a piece of paper a lot of people say, oh, I don't need a, I don't need a test rock. I don't need Bert. I have got uh, this piece of paper or this cardboard. But as soon as you sort of depress the pen down to try and clean it out, and if it does do a leak like that one just did, on paper, the paper starts absorbing the paint straight away. So you're already starting to lose that um, excess paint. So when I do it on the rock, I can pick up most of the paint that spilled out and use it on another rock or use it pretty much straight away um, and a lot less of the paint goes to waste. So yeah back to sort of choosing colours for your peacock and when I thought about it and I was just like oh yeah red. Now the reason I chose red because red was right beside me on my desk and um, I was just thinking of all the different colors to grab and I was like oh there's red there's blue you know my peacock's gonna be red and blue and that's what my intuition told me to do so my heart said yeah your peacock's red and blue and uh, got those pens all ready to go and then all of a sudden my head went but peacocks then they're not red and blue they're purple they're green they're gold they're this color they're that color they're not red and blue and it's so, you know, I did what I like to do with my art and that is I follow my heart. So my heart is my intuition and that said your peacock is going to be red and blue. So I don't like to question that. I just go for it. Okay. And what I'm trying to express to you is nothing. There is no wrong and there is no right with art. It's just do what you want to do. Create what you want to create. You know, don't get all hung up on, oh, I can't do that. That's not right. It's like, who says that's not right? You know, I've just got my water here, so I'm going to start doing some shading while I keep babbling on and telling you stories. So I've, I've wet my paint brush, taken off any excess water off the brush, and I'm just dipping it onto my pens and uh, smushing that on my rock. So you can see it's just creating some shading. But yeah, that's something we, we do too often. And we do it when we look at other people's work too. And we go, oh, no, that's not right because they've done this or they've done that. And it's like, it might not be right to you, but it's right to them because they created it, you know. So there's no sense in telling someone that their art is wrong because it never is. It's always going to be right for them and it might be wrong for you. And that's okay. It's like we're creating art for ourselves. We're doing, we're practicing, we're creating, we're doing what our heart wants us to do and get that creation and we're just hiding these kindness rocks out there and I believe that the right person is going to find the rock that resonates with them. Okay. So yeah, don't don't think about it. Just 
you know, so many people come back and another thing that they might say is like, I can't do that. I don't have the colors that you've got. And it's like, you don't need the colors that I've got. You know, that is something that I do invest in is um, my paint pens. You know, I don't do a lot of other things. I don't go to movies or out for coffee or things like that. That's not something that really interests me, but my art does. So I like to, you know, put my extra few dollars and just grab that photo for the Facebook people. Um, yeah, I like to put my extra few dollars into my art supply. So I'll, I will pick up an extra uh, different color uh, that I like in my paint pens that week or, you know, whatever. Or even my paints, you know, don't dismiss. I know a lot of people are using paints and paint brushes and you can use the exact same techniques that I'm using on my YouTube videos and all my tutorials on Facebook is, you know, when I create, it's usually with brushes and paints on a canvas. And when I first came to rocks, I just could not figure it out. Cause I was like, well, what am I gonna do with these paint pen things that everyone's using? And uh, so I started painting and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, well, I can start shading. I can do this, I can do that. And it just sort of making it up every day, trying new things, experimenting, see how you go with it. I mean, create red peacocks, who knows? You know, the other thing that you really shouldn't do if you are making a YouTube video and that is eat peanuts because I ate peanuts. I grabbed a couple of peanuts just before I started making the video and um, I'm regretting it now because I'm just dying for a drink. It's like, oh well, we live and learn. But seriously, I should just ban snacks off my painting table when I'm videoing. <laughs> Okay, so you can just see I'm just lining up some feather, some of these long feathers and it's a, a style that I see a lot of artists use in, in Nepal and it's, it's sort of, it's what I call a folky kind of look so it's not precise, it's not exactly how it would look. You know, they add like how I'm doing it now and around his neck they just add some more sort of, you know, folk or tribal sort of shapes don't really know what it's called um, yeah but it's more more simplistic and they they use this to decorate their walls and lots of different things I've got some of the paintings that have been done on the rice papers so they're really cool okay and I'm just deepening up in the areas where the sort of body comes around and these are the tail feathers behind it so that would cast some shadow in those areas so I'm just going dark with a darker black where I think the shadows would be a little bit more deeper yeah that's it okay I think it's enough of the black so I'm going to take my white and just create the highlights and come down I was just sort of thinking as I was um I've done red and uh, I was thinking how cool would a pink peacock be so if any of you have some pink paints laying around pink paint pens why don't you give a pink pink peacock a go um, I know that that's Linda's favorite color so she'll probably give it a go in pink pop over to Facebook and show me what color peacocks that you created and we can be found at Reef Rocks Free Workshops. I'll see you there.